good afternoon, good morning, good after whatever time it is for you. Welcome to the first ever Mortal Kombat competition recap. I'm going to go over some of this month's competition, show you some fatalities, some ass kicking, and just some straight up bloody fight. Now since this is the first one, I'll go over the rules of the tournament a little bit. This is a draft tournament. Uh, we're going to have seven people in this tournament, and each of them are going to draft four combatants. That leaves us three leftovers, which will be given out to the three, the first three that go out, that their whole team is eliminated. Kind of gives them a, an extra fifth guy. We will uh, go through winners versus winners, basically, losers versus losers, until everyone's eliminated giving one last person remaining and they are the winner of said tournament okay let's take a look at our lineups tonight drafting first was imaginary force always a threat to be reckoned with probably going to go deep in this one maybe even take it all with this lineup of kenshi noob cyrex and nightwolf that's a that's a stacked lineup for him drafting second we have scarlet another threat to go deep Hasn't won a, one of our prelim tournaments yet, but she's got a nice lineup in Shiva, Smoke, Ermac, and Kung Lao. Drafting third, we have Drem. Going Scorpion, Baraka, Kano, and Cabal. Coming in fourth, always a threat to win every tournament we have, Nanalok. I believe that's how you say it. I don't know. I'm not a genius. That's what it looks like. Go in some Ice Town with Sub Zero, Cyber Sub Zero, Sector, and Melina. I feel like there's going to be a Frozen character in his future. All right, coming in, drafting fifth is Night Owl. We have her taking Reptile Jade, Freddy Krueger, and Liu Kang. Drafting six is Dirty One. Never really won to take the tournament, but he's not an easy fight. We got Sonya Blade, Striker, Katana, and good old Johnny Cage. Drafting seventh and last is Flaming Penguin. Taking Jack, Shang Tsung, Scarlet, and Quan Chi. All right, joining me tonight will be Imaginary Force. So take a quick look at these matches. Up first, we got Cyrax, Quan Chi. That's Imaginary Force versus. The Flaming Penguin is in this match with me. <laughs> Initially a pretty slow start. This was the first match of the night. We were kind of feeling each other out. So not super comfortable with the characters we chose. With our lineup, keep in mind we do a random choice. You hold your cards upside down and your opponent chooses who you will be. And you will choose who your opponent will be. So sometimes you can get a very, very one-sided matchup. Sometimes you can get lucky though. Now we're going to take a look at this match. This is Sonya Blade, who is going to be controlled by our one and only the hey, dirty one. I got it. I got him behind the sticks on this one. Dirty one is actually controlling Sonya Blade here. He is facing Scarlet. Scarlet is a top contender each week and actually is an admin on Gamer Nation Central. Check that out on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, and this is a this is a pretty close match coming down, uh, back and forth. You can see both characters kind of feeling each other out. Nobody really using any combos. They're just kind of getting in close, doing a couple hit damages here and there. Maybe some missed controller input there. We see uh, Sonya blowing a kiss into thin air. Kung Lao definitely exploiting his teleportation moves, using that opportunity to close the distance between Sonya and a very very crucial x-ray just executed there to even things up. Coming down, this could be anyone's game here at the end of this round. Oh, Kung Lao carries it. So our very own dirty one is down one round. Going into round two, Sonya does have a distinct advantage with a full energy bar. Kung Lao has been depleted, he doesn't even have a breaker or is it hand. So we'll see how this plays out. Sonya hitting two good hits in the beginning. Uh, Crouching block though, Kung Lao, that is a block breaking move under the crowd position. Just missing the x-ray on that one. 
like the match is very one-sided now. Things kind of flipped. Kung Lao at a disadvantage. Sony's energy depleted. Kung Lao is actually going to take the upper hand here towards the end now with his breaker enabled. We'll see. 31 doing heavy damage here towards got her, the end. Got him stuck in the corner. Couldn't do anything about it. That's it. Seals this one up. This one's going to go into round three. Let's see what goes on. This match again, one-sided. We got a little toasty there. This one's going to lean towards Kung Lao, and then this one, Kung Lao already got his X-ray charged up. That's going to be Scarlet there. So let's see how this plays out. Not, not going too well for this round. Not going at all. Can't get anything started really. Sonya's definitely on the defense here. She needs to be careful. Avoid that X-ray. Avoid that cloud after the teleport. And we got both characters with the X-ray. It's going to be fair. I'm not sure the effort is worth it though. Let's see how this finishes up. Okay. Kung Lao with a perfectly. <laughs> Time next way. A little bit of overkill for the end of the round, but. Alright, between these two, we have Non Yulok versus myself, Magnetic Force. This match, the double robot match, you have two very crowd controlling characters. If you notice the timer, take a close look at it. We're on the third round, we're down to 14 seconds. Both health bars very depleted. Nobody has the upper hand, no one has an x ray. I myself, Imaginary Force, have the breaker on the character. Keep so it, it literally keep goes an eye. Look at the water. health. Three, two, one. There's a. Let's take a look at this. Oh, and oh. he times out in midair. The animation actually did tick. It landed. I kind of stood here, threw down my cards, and got a little aggravated. I had thought I lost this round. Ended up until the title screen rolled. I had thought I was eliminated. Yeah, that was that was a crazy end to that one. All right, we got Johnny Cage hitting Scarlet in the non-existent nuts. <laughs> Always a, always a laugh on that one. Always a laugh on that one. We've got Smoke and Baraka, two characters that aren't... Don't really have the upper hand on one or the other. You know, Baraka's kind of a ground and pound, the bladed character. Smoke can move an immense amount. Which is, it looks like someone's trying to get off a little bit of a combo here. Baraka not unblocking, though. I'm leaving the door open. This is a match between Drem and Scarlet here, between the two. Drem and Scarlet, two of our female players. So you girls out there definitely... Don't rule yourself out. Always contenders. Scarlet, female, always a contender for the top of the spot. She's a very solid player. So what we're looking at, this is a, a rather, I mean, this is two, this is the third round, so, and it's back and forth up until this gear X-ray by Baraka. Smoke has a lot of his energy if he's careful. There we go. He can charge up that X-ray, get ready to even the matchup. He misses it, misses however, it. so Baraka has a huge advantage right now. A uh, little bit of air action, 16% combo, not a huge one, little soft combo. Staying back up. Oh, Baraka finishes it off with his charging blade. That was an upset on that one. Looks like Sector and Shiva, this one's going into round three. We've got a little bit of juggling going on. Looks like Sector's using the missiles to kind of whittle it down, even through those blocks. Oh, no, you can't crouch there and take that. This one is coming out of the wire. Let's see how it finishes one up. Punch. Oh my goodness, he uses his teleportation punch, sort of his initialization to his juggler. Here we've got Scorpion and Red as initialization to his juggler. Pretty, pretty even characters, some of the original ninjas. You know, get some action pretty, there. Pretty even characters. We've got uh, Reptile has a little bit of an advantage in that pretty, round. Pretty even. Between these two, this is a matchup between Cyrax and Melina. Not two characters you've commonly seen played here. Melina not used widely in competition here. Cyrax in his robot form, definitely a little bit quicker than his human form. You see both characters kind of trying to control the match. Cyrax a little bit of an advantage with his extra, which is completely wasted by me in that moment, which gives me kind of a big disadvantage. Melina's got her X-ray charged up and ready to go. I help us quickly dribbling. Melina's got that dagger in the back, so you keep, you keep trying to hit that, that uh, bonus percentage when you uh, grab and bite. This one's going to go into round two. Imaginary Force at a big disadvantage here. He's going to need to kind of crowd control a little bit, keep Melina tied up. She is obviously, obviously baiting him. He's not falling for it. Now we got another dagger in the back, so watch out for that bonus percentage here. Cyrax definitely on the defensive here. Teleporting around. Trying to keep Melina from doing the 
Now we're dropping the dummy that she pulled. There's the dagger one. Now you see the bonus there. That's different from her normal move. It left 11% instead of 9. It doesn't seem like a lot, but in retrospect, I mean, that's 2%. That is an extra block hit, so that definitely is well worth doing. Imaginary Force at a pretty big disadvantage here. Melina is one up on the round. She's obviously going to go into defensive mode here. Try and control the round. Don't let him charge his energy up and get an X-ray off here. Fortunately, the X-ray is charged well. Land in perfect timing there. Melina jumps up. Cyrex gets the X-ray off. Not sure if it's going to be worthwhile here. We are towards the end of the match. So let's see how this one wraps up. Alright, we're bringing back around. Now we're moving on to some Striker versus Jax. 31 versus uh, Flaming Penguin. Um, this one, I'm one, 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 one sided. Pretty one sided. Striker here, very ranged character. Jack's the opposite. I think, ja um, I'm sorry, Striker easily carried that one. Moving into another matchup with Molina and Striker. Nonulock versus 31. Nonulock versus 31. Nonulock, one of the consistently top performers. 31, usually right there at the bottom of the top. No offense, 31. That's where I. Land. You got Striker here. Looks like Striker is trying to get off his crowd control moves. Nonulock is doing a really good job of keeping him off pace, making sure he doesn't land his, his grabbing baton move and his sweep. There we go. Get, get grabbing baton one in there. Do a little gun to keep her on the ground. Do that roll to close the distance. Remember, the name of the games that keep Molina away from him. Make the gun useful. And since Striker has Ooh, the There moves. we go. Oh man, an opportunity missed. We had that blocked rolling move, put her up in the air to spin. Oh, oh. missed X ray. Spread him didn't is, work. That is huge. Pretty even matchup here. Melina does as close as coming back her, here towards the end. Charging up her energy. That's going to be more useful in the second round. I don't think we're going to see her use it the first one, obviously, here. So moving to the second round. Little one sided. Melina's up one. Her energy is full. Let's see how the dirty one takes this. Gonna stick to the strategy, stay back. Trying to roll, keep the distance and roll into it. Here we go, we're starting to block that aerial attack there, which is definitely helpful. Oh, not, not letting him, not letting him exploit that. Dirty One definitely doing a much better job keeping his health up, being more defensive. He is slowly whittling the lead down. Oh, nice little three hit combo piece together there, 14%. Managing to get them the me hit with the baton. He can't get the grab going though. This, is going, this round's definitely going a little better. For me. Definitely going a little better right now. So looks like Striker's all charged up. Probably not going to see him use his X right here. I think he's going to save that for the inevitable third round. Just going to finish this one off with basic hits and some specials. Let's see how Melina handles the end of this one. Throwing, pulls out the grenades. Definitely charging up her energy for next round. I think this is more of a. Just kind of trying to conserve energy for this definitely next round. Oh, a huge catch up here. Now we're seeing the round go. And then there's finally the push it into the third. So, Melina definitely depleted a lot of her energy. Dirty One has an advantage going into the third round here. Oh, missed X ray. That evens things up. We're basically starting at square one. Single elimination. It is this or nothing here. Throwing up crits back and forth. No one hitting. Uh, a little bit of a game of chess here. Everyone's trying to be careful. They're both low on energy. Nobody can really do any serious amount of damage. They're in a corner. No one wants to open themselves up to a big, uh, big attack. We got Striker and Melina kind of trading hits, going back and forth, trading some real worthwhile hits. Kind of, Striker's trying to keep them in the corner. Keeping Melina in the corner. So, oh, there we have an awesome grab. That's definitely going to give Striker a huge advantage now. He's still healthy. Melina quickly brings that close to even. She to charge up her energy there. This special. There we go. There's the X-ray. I think that one's going to take it down to very, very That's close to death. Striker has this guy charged up. Let's see how he takes this one. This one's coming down to the wire. Third round, 60 seconds Melina's in. Melina's keeping it back. Melina's trying to just keep him he back. Might, he might him down right through the block. Up him now. One hit, one hit. Oh, oh teleport it. it does. Melina carried it. Striker opened himself up. Wasted X ray, unfortunately. Melina carries around. Here we move into Baraka and a super nut punch from Johnny Cage. I think Johnny Cage. Nightwolf is... here versus Ermac, and I'll let you in on a hint. Nightwolf Yes. Yeah. This match was not worth anything. No highlights here. It basically went punch for punch. Nightwolf carried it. Moving into Rain and Melina here. Melina is up one, both even on health. Nobody has a super. 
energy uh, advantage here. So we'll see how this one plays out. Looks like Melina's going to just use her crowd control and her juggling to kind of keep her on the move. Easily finishes him off. Melina carries this one. A little Kano Ball action for you here against the Noob Sabot, the man with a few moves. Definitely good for a beginning player. A crucial jump there to that. And here we've got Johnny Cage versus Kung Lao. Kung Lao is up one that is controlled by Scarlet. Johnny Cage is the one on dirty one. I believe he lost that round. I did. Carrying the first round. We're going to move on to Raiden Sub-Zero. This is Dirty One versus Nanyalak. Nanyalak does prefer Sub-Zero. He has a very cool move list. <laughs> Raiden getting the charge into the wall. Got him in the corner now. Sub-Zero just exploiting his very, very basic set of moves, but a monumental crowd control for And Dirty One got uh, Raiden as the first Call them. Uh, the first pickup loser, basically uh, the first losers here, remember from our recap in the beginning, get to pick up from our ex extra pile. Here we've got Sub-Zero versus Kung Lao. It's going to be Nanyalok versus Scarlet here. This is one of the final rounds. We're getting the end of the matchup here. We've got um, Scarlet trying to protect her best character. She's definitely the best with Kung Lao. Uh, Nanyalok, very, very skilled with Sub-Zero. That crowd control is just absolutely crucial. You see his three-hit non-enhanced combo, definitely good after a freeze. Let's see how this one plays out here. Both characters not very charged up on energy. Pretty even on health. Kung Lao's a one round lead. Let's see how this one plays out. Oh, hitting me. Downward hat. Keeping him at bay with some uppercuts and teleporting close. Trying to stay out of the way. And that is huge. A well placed block and a crucial uppercut to finish it off. Here we go. Remember Nightwolf 1. That's our motto for the night. Let's hope Nightwolf can eliminate. Kung Lao, controlled by Scarlet here. Uh, Nightwolf is being controlled by tonight, the one and only me. Imaginary Force. Kung Lao does have the first round in hand though on this one, so Hugo Nightwolf is playing from behind in this round. So Imaginary Force trying to use that crowd control, trying to keep him back, using the lightning to keep him up in the air, trying to keep the arrows, keep him away. Blocking that teleportation, landing on the, th the, uh, the hat toss, the ground based hat toss. Definitely not capitalizing on his juggling opportunities here or combo opportunities. I think Scarlet easily carries this one. Kung Lao Kenshi, this is one of the final rounds. Imaginary Force controlling Kenshi, Scarlet controlling Kung Lao. This is the this is the title match here between Kung Lao and Kenshi. Kenshi, one of the better characters. He is the blind ninja. Definitely in control of those X-ray like moves. His uh, teleportation moves. I'm sorry, not teleportation moves. Just ranged attacks there. Ranged are. attacks. I guess mind control moves. We'll call it, call it telekinesis here. Yeah. Uh, great matchup. Both characters quickly charging their energy bars. Uh, not even down to low health here. Pretty quick into the match. We've got both of characters at full x-ray. We'll see who tries to use one to wrap up this first round again in the second. Looks like Scarlet lands it. I think that's going to seal the deal for round one. Imaginary yeah. Force is going to be at a big disadvantage. Kung Lao's doing a good job keeping the, the gap closed, not letting Kenshi get a base ground to use all of his telekinetic moves. There we go, we're going to start off round two with a big x-ray here. We're going to get that sword going, that's going to give about a 30% advantage to Kenshi. Let's see how this plays out. Kung Lao quickly charging his energy here. Going to get some special moves in, get that energy bar back up. Creating that space that she, Kung Lao did not want to let him have, now he's getting it. Getting it. Here we go, Kung Lao trying to use that teleport pound that is able to be defeated with a standing block. Imaginary Force looks like he's learned that. Not letting Kung Lao control with that move. Looks like this one's going to go into round three. Kung Lao with a full energy bar though. So let's see how this one plays out. It's going to round three. Imaginary Force low on energy, so it's anyone's game here. This is round three. This is the Super Bowl. This is the final. Pretty even. Let's see how it plays out here. We've got let's both characters. Let's see if Kenshi can keep the, the, the teleportation down to a minimum again. So he landed on that three times in a row. Definitely unlucky for Imaginary Force. Switch, Kung Lao switching it up a little bit. Scarlet switched it up doing more hat tosses than less teleportation. More hat tosses, less teleportation. So that's throwing Imaginary Force off. She had a pretty predictable series there in the beginning. Definitely using those teleportation moves now. Oh, a missed juggling opportunity there. That is going to be crucial here in the last seconds of the round. There you go. Scarlet carries this one. Scarlet is victorious. Kenshi, Imaginary Force is going to come into second place this week.